shout out to the WTC gang. We the motherfucking chosen ones. Grand rising to the chosen ones. Grand rising to the star seeds. Grand rising to the divine ones all over the world. Guess who's back? Your boy, Jordan, the chosen one, is back. And I'm better than ever, baby. Y'all better be ready because your boy about to go in like the Yin Yang twins. Understand, understand what I'm saying. Let me let you know something. Stop celebrating with people that don't clap when you win. They're not happy that you're winning. They're mad because you're doing better than them. Understand what I'm coming from. Stop celebrating with people that don't clap when you win. Understand what I'm coming from. They're not happy that you're winning. They're mad because you're doing better than them. Celebrate your goddamn self. Understand what I'm saying. Your boy is back. I need everybody to like, comment, and subscribe because your boy going in like the yin yang twins. Mm-hmm. What's going on with y'all? We're living in our last days. When God bless you with something, when God elevates you in, the, in a different position, when God just promoted you to a totally different new level, let me let you know something, baby. You need to go ahead and celebrate by your goddamn self. You need to go ahead and pat your own self on the back because you did it. You made it out of a situation they're still stuck in. And that's why they can't stand your ass. Understand what I'm saying? Have you ever talked to somebody and every time you talk to them, they're miserable? Every time you talk to them, they're disappointed. Every time you talk to somebody, they're depressed. They're angry. They're upset with their own life. They don't even know how to live life. Every time you talk to somebody, they don't want to tell you that they made it to another level. They don't want to say, hey, brother, I see you doing good. Hey, my sister, I see you just open up your own nail salon. I see you doing good, my sister. They're not going to tell you that because they're not living a life of success themselves. Understand where I'm coming from because your boy going in. Stop celebrating with people that don't clap when you win. We ain't doing nothing but wasting our time. We ain't doing nothing but wasting our energy. We ain't doing nothing but wasting effort. We ain't doing nothing but wasting our value, wasting our worth. Motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you, but you want to go ahead and call yourself cool. You want to call yourself hanging out. You want to call yourself, I'm just hanging out with the homies. The homies ain't successful like you. You got to ride this solo bolo ship and ride it by your goddamn self. Y'all know I'm going to keep it real with the people. Let me let you know something. It's going to be a lonely road when you're successful. It's going to be a lonely road when you made it to the top of the mountain. Ain't nobody going to fuck with you. But the real question is, can you fuck with yourself? The real question is, can you be happy within your motherfucking self? That's the real question. The real question is, can you celebrate success by your motherfucking self? Can you look good by your motherfucking self? Fuck these motherfuckers. Because they weren't there when you hit rock bottom. These motherfuckers weren't there when you fell on your face. I need everybody to like, comment, and subscribe right now because your boy is going in like the yin yang motherfucking twins in this bitch. Let me let you know something. These motherfuckers are watching you. God told me to tell you get back into your safe haven because these motherfuckers is watching you. These motherfuckers got their eyes on you because you already know that you on a totally new level of success. They want to know your next move. They want to know your every idea. They want to know God's plans for your life. But you tell that devil he a liar. 
you tell that devil the truth ain't in him and you walk that red carpet by yourself you walk to that club by yourself you walk to that lounge by yourself and you better celebrate yourself and you better walk in that motherfucking room like God sent you there I need everybody to share this video I need everybody to like comment and motherfucking subscribe because we are the motherfucking chosen ones let me tell you something these motherfuckers gonna treat you like you worthless the minute you hit rock bottom don't think because you at the top of the mountain you supposed to be giving this and giving that and giving this and giving that and, and, and handshaking with this person oh everything is good with that person or, or let's go shopping with this person or, or let's go to the club and drinks on me with this person let me let you know something these motherfuckers ain't with you these motherfuckers ain't rob with you these motherfuckers ain't even gonna slide with you you need to ride by your motherfucking self cause these motherfuckers don't give a damn about you you know I'm gonna keep it real with the people I ain't got time to sugarcoat because the minute that I'm sugarcoating that clock is steady ticking the minute I sugarcoat that clock is steady ticking you have to learn how to take a lick and keep on ticking because these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. Let me tell you something about me. And let me tell you something about the chosen ones. This is how you know we are the chosen ones. When we hit rock bottom. And I need you to listen carefully. When we didn't have a pot to piss in. And I need you to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me tell you something about the chosen ones. We can have $2.30 in our pocket with a little beer in our hand with three or four balloons on our right hand. Let me tell you something. And our next, the next person that we're hanging out with, our homies that we're hanging out with, family members that we're hanging out with, let me tell you something. We're going to congratulate them motherfuckers with only $2 in our pocket. That's just how real the WTC family is. That's how real the chosen one is. We can have only $2.30 in our po pockets, a Modelo in our left hand, and three or four balloons in our right hand. But we're going to walk up to you and we're going to congratulate you with all our heart, our mind, and our spirit. We're going to show you all kind of love because guess what? We're not haters. We congratulate us. You need to know the difference between a congratulator and a hater. Haters don't want to see you win. Congratulators want to see you win. Understand where I'm coming from right now. See, the, the good thing about the chosen ones, we ain't never jealous of nobody and nothing. We want everybody to make it. And that's what's wrong with us. We want motherfuckers to make it when, when motherfuckers want to see us fall on our face. And that's what's wrong with the, with the WTC family. Sometimes being too nice can get us burnt alive. Sometimes being too nice can get us fucked up. Sometimes being too kind or being too nice or being too generous can get us all the way fucked up. But in all actual reality, we want to see everybody win. I need y'all to listen. We want to see everybody get to the next level. We don't want to see nobody fall on their face. We don't want to see nobody hit rock bottom. Understand what I'm saying? We don't want to see nobody, you know what I'm saying, going through these hard trials and tribulations of life. It's already hard enough that we're going through these hard trials and tribulations as it is. Let me let you know something. It's already hard enough that we got to walk this journey alone. It's already hard enough. But let me tell you something. As we look up to the hills from which cometh our help, WTC family, we're going to continue to congratulate people who are succeeding in life because that's just what's in us. We, we don't got not one jealous bone in our body. And that's what I love about the WTC family. We don't got not one jealous bone in our body. We'll say congratulations and we'll mean every bit of it. Correct me if I'm wrong. We will clap when you win. You can just buy the new Bugatti. You can just purchase the new Maserati. You can just buy the new Mustang SUV. Understand where I'm coming from. And we can be in a two-door Honda. We will still be just as happy as you. Because we not hate us. We congratulate us. You know how many times I celebrated with people? 
would only have five dollars to my name. You know how many times I celebrated with people when only have fifteen dollars to my name. You know how many times I celebrated with people when I didn't have a pot to piss in. You know how many times I celebrated with people that in return they didn't even clap to see they didn't even want to clap to see me win. They didn't want to clap when I win. But I still show love. I still celebrate it. And I still acknowledge these motherfuckers because I already know one day it's going to be my turn. But let me tell you something when it's your turn. Let me tell you something what's going to go down. Understand what I'm coming from because it's getting good up in here. Motherfuckers not even going to show up to your party. Motherfuckers not even going to show up to your event. Motherfuckers not going to call you and say, hey, man, I see you doing it on YouTube. Let's go have some drinks and celebrate. See, that's what's wrong with us now. That's what's wrong with people now. We don't want to celebrate when the next motherfucker win. Understand what I'm saying? We don't want to acknowledge or give credit when credit is due to the motherfucker that's winning. We don't want to pass the baton to the next motherfucker because we're so fucking selfish. We want to keep everything to our motherfucking self. It don't work like that. Understand what I'm coming from? We want to take every credit and we want to take everything in our hands and say, me, 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 me. I did this. I did that. I did this for you. I did that for you. Get around people that are always bragging about what they did for you. Because let me tell you something. If they're going to do something for you, they're going to do something for you without asking for anything in return. Let me let you know something. See, the good thing I like about the WTC family we going to congratulate you. We're going to still celebrate you also when you lose. It don't matter if you win or lose in life. We're going to still congratulate you. We're going to still uplift you to be the best next version of yourself. Let me let you know something. We're living in our last days, man. Do y'all see this Laker symbol on my, my, this Laker symbol on my jacket? Motherfuckers was hating on me so bad. Motherfuckers just say I'm not a Laker fan. Motherfucker, I was a Laker fan since motherfucking when Kobe first came in the league as a rookie straight out of high school. Motherfucker, I've been a fan since Ron Harper was on the motherfucking roster. Rick Fox, Eddie Jones, understand what I'm saying? Robert Horry, Travis Knight, Sean Rooks, understand what I'm saying? Shaquille O'Neal, understand what I'm saying? Nick Van Exel, Rick Fox in this motherfucker. Understand what I'm saying? Cedric Sabalas in this motherfucker. Don't tell me I'm not no Laker fan. I've been a Laker fan since I was fucking what? Fucking seven, eight, nine years old. Don't tell me I'm not no Laker fan. When Kobe first came in the league from high school, I've been a Laker fan. And motherfuckers used to hate and say, you ain't no Laker fan. You ain't no Laker fan. Mark Masson, Mad Dog, Power Ford, will get every rebound off the board. I've been watching the Lakers for years. For years. When they added Glenn Rice, I was a Laker fan. Understand what I'm saying? When they added Carmelo to the roster, Gary Payton, I was a Laker fan. When they gave Isaiah Ryder a chance... I was a Laker fan. Don't tell me I wasn't no Laker fan because I'm naming shit. I'm not looking at no paper. I'm not looking at no ESPN. This is all from the brain, baby, because I'm a true Laker fan. When they let Nick the Quick, Nick Van Exel go from the roster, I was still a Laker fan. When they told Eddie Jones, your position ain't here no more. We got a new star in Kobe Bryant. I was still a Laker fan. I wasn't happy that they let Eddie go Jones go, but I was still a Laker fan. When Robert Horry, when we was down 3-1 to the Sacramento Queens, not the Kings, to the Sacramento Queens, when we was down 3-1. And motherfucker was saying in the living room, I'll never forget when we were celebrating that game in the living room. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers was saying, Robert Horry ain't going to hit this shot. Well, motherfuckers was saying, the Lakers season is over. The Lakers playoff is over. They three-peat is, is, ain't, ain't happening. Understand what I'm saying? They not about to win no championship. Understand what I'm saying? I said, nah, dog. I was the only one that had a Laker jacket in the living room. Let me tell you something. I was the only one that looked like Laker gear, that looked like a Laker, a true Laker fan. I had a purple and gold Laker jacket. Understand what I'm saying? So I decided to buy myself a Laker jacket because I am a true Laker fan. 
And let me tell you something. I said, nah, dog. As a little kid, I said, nah, dog. We got this, man. We got this. I said, Kobe going to hit the shot. I said, Kobe Bryant is going to be the one to hit the shot. Soon as Kobe went up for the mid-range jumper. Y'all better pay attention. Soon as Kobe went up from the for the mid-range jumper, I think it was for a mid-range or a three. He missed it. And I believe it was Shaq that went for the rebound. Vladi Divac on the Sacramento Queens. That's right. I call him the Queens because we beat him. Vladi Divac on the Sacramento Queens tipped the ball out to Robert Horry. And let me tell you something. What happened when he tipped that ball out to Robert Horry? He should never did that because you know what his name is, right? Big Shot Bob. Big shot, Bob. Robert motherfucking Horry hit that three point shot. Understand what I'm coming from. Robert Horry hit that shot, baby, to send us into victory. If it had not been for Robert Horry who had hit it that shot, where will we be, y'all? Let's keep it real with the people. But my point I'm trying to make is this, y'all win or lose. I am the chosen one. Win or lose, I'm going to congratulate you. Whether you win or lose in life, I don't give a damn if you got $2 in your pocket. I don't give a damn if you got a million dollars in the bank account. Win or lose in life, your boy Jordan going to back you up. Ask anybody. You got a baby shower, I'm coming to it. You got a wedding, I'm going to be there. Your little daughter have a birthday. I'm going to be there. Your little son got a party. I'm going to be there. Understand where I'm coming from because that's just, it's just in me. I want to see everybody win. But the question is, do motherfuckers really want to see me win? Hell motherfucking no, because I'm telling you right now, I'm at the top of the mountain. I'm all over the motherfucking world, but I have not got a phone call and say, Hey, homie. I'll see you doing your thing. Let's go out for drinks and let's go celebrate your success. Motherfuckers don't give a damn that I'm succeeding right now. I thought about it yesterday. I could have went out. I could have went out to the finest club. I could have went out to the finest bar. I could have went out to the finest lounge. But let me tell you something. I sat back and I enjoyed myself. I didn't go out. As fly I was looking, I didn't go out. I didn't really feel it in my spirit. God said, celebrate by yourself right now. And then God said, when is the right time to go out? God said, I want you to celebrate like it's no tomorrow. But God said, when you go out, go out by your goddamn self. Because you deserve that shit. God told me, don't be afraid to walk this road alone. Don't be afraid to walk this journey alone. This is what God is telling me right now. Because people going to act like they riding with you. People going to act like they sliding with you. But in all actuality, they're living a miserable life right now, y'all. Pay attention to the signs. People are living a miserable life right now. Everybody trying to get to the mountaintop. Everybody trying to get to the next level. Everybody want to be better than the next person. Let me tell you how this cycle is working. But it's only one Jordan, the chosen one, baby. Can nobody do me like Jordan do me? Understand what I'm saying? So you don't got to clap when I win. You ain't got to shout when I win. You ain't got to give me a hug or or really give me a good handshake or really go out and have drinks with me when I win. I'm going to celebrate my motherfucking self. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, I'm going to celebrate my motherfucking self. Because I'm telling you something right now. We're living in our last and evil days. Motherfuckers ain't doing it like you. Motherfuckers ain't successful like you. Y'all better pay attention to the sign. Get somewhere and celebrate by your motherfucking self. Join the WTC Mentor Program. My email is Jordan underscore Howard 18 at Yahoo.com. And I guarantee you, I'm going to get you to the next level. Understand where I'm coming from. If you guys would love to be a blessing to my YouTube channel, my cash app, I have a new cash app, is dollar sign, God will provide 3-1. My PayPal is God will provide 3-0. Whatever God put in your heart to give. Sow a seed of $11.11, baby. And I promise you, God going to move in your situation, man. Because 11 stands for new beginnings, man. And we're going all the way to the mountaintop, whether these motherfuckers like it or not.
Celebrate your motherfucking self. Because when it's all said and done, they're not happy that you're winning. They're not going to clap that you're winning. Understand what I'm saying? They're not going to clap that you're winning. They're not going to clap when you win. These motherfuckers want to see you fall in your face. That's the only time they want to clap. Have you noticed? When you're not succeeding in life and when you done gave up, have you noticed? That's when they clap. When you fall in your face, I mean face first, when you don't have a pot to piss in, that's when they want to hang out. Pay attention. When you don't have a car, when you're walking from bus to bus, from train to train, that's when these motherfuckers want to hang out. Understand what I'm coming from. That's when these motherfuckers want to clap is when you lose. But when you win, they're not going to clap when you win. That's deep. I need everybody to put that in the comments below. They want to clap when I lose, but they never want to clap when I win. It's a huge difference, man. Y'all better wake up and smell the coffee. Because I'm telling you right now, it's show ain't decaf. Understand where I'm coming from. The people are watching. Enemies are watching you. They're watching your every fucking move. Give them something to look at. You continue to celebrate yourself by yourself. You continue to pr promote your business. You continue to post on your YouTube channel. Continue to post content. Because we're living in our last and evil days. Get all that you're going to get. Understand what I'm saying? Get all that you're going to get from God and don't look back. Because these motherfuckers just looking for a come up. These motherfuckers ain't doing it from the heart. These motherfuckers want to do it for the come up. That's why people want to be successful. They want to do it for the money. They want to do it for the love of money. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it because I'm helping the next person. I'm doing it because this is what I'm called to do. I'm doing this shit because this is what I love to do. Motivate the people. But everybody is not going to clap when you win. And you need to know that WTC game. And I need you to know one thing. I don't give a fuck if not one family member, not one so-called friend, not one so-called loved one clap when you win. I'm going to let you know right now. Send me an email. You tell me about your business. You tell me about your next level of success. You tell me that you just got promoted. I'm going to clap when you win. I promise you. I'm going to clap for you when you win. There's nothing like seeing somebody really excited to see you win. That's one of the best feelings in the world. Somebody who really genuinely love you and really say, hey, man, I'm proud of you. And, they, and you can feel it and you can tell they're so happy. they laughing and they they excited that you made it. Versus somebody that looking at you and say, damn, I thought this motherfucker was going to hit rock bottom. That shit hurts. And it be the motherfuckers that you love the most. It be the motherfuckers that's that's in your in your face the most. Be careful for nothing in all things through prayer and supplication. And don't forget. If you need a friend, you already know you got it in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, and if you need somebody that's going to clap when you win, you already know you got the best motivational fucking speaker in the whole wide motherfucking world. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.